Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The rulers in the document will run both horizontally and vertically in the print layout view. But if your view is set to normal, which you can change from the view command in the menu bar, then you'll only see the horizontal ruler at the top. The rulers will f help to assist you in setting tabs and also positioning text and objects in your document. And the horizontal ruler is the most important since that's the place where you put tabs for paragraphs. In Word, you can set tabs for the whole document or for each paragraph, which allows you to combine multiple tab settings to create your ideal text layout for your document. Now, the gray ends, which appear at the end of the ruler in Print Layout View, are your margins on your document. And you may increase or decrease any margin by clicking and dragging at the point where the margin and the actual document area meet. Your mouse pointer will turn into a two-headed arrow, and at that point you may click and drag to change the margin. Also notice there's an hourglass shaped object at the left end of the ruler, the horizontal ruler, where it meets the left margin. This object is actually three separate objects that you use for indenting text. The objects are the hanging indent, the first line indent, and the entire left side indent. And you'll learn how to use these in the sections ahead, but it's useful to note where they appear at least for now. Also notice that you can turn your rulers on and off by selecting View, Ruler. It will turn them off, and the same command turns them back on. So it's just a toggle command. Toggle it on, toggle it off. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.